Hi, and thank you for tuning in to mrchoy.com.au. Today I'm really excited because we're sharing the three-step OLF I script, the three-step open for inspection script. And this script is about getting the most out of your open for inspections. Um, the hardest way to grow a database is to cold call or door knock, etc. etc. Well, you've got people coming to you, and when people come into you, they're more receptive of uh, uh, talking to you, right? Because they're coming to you, you're not going to them. They're coming to your territory, you're not going into their territory. So they're a lot more mind, open minded to give you information. So I'm talking about how to get prospective vendor information from the open for inspection. Real simple, really, really simple three step approach. Here we go. Okay. So first step is what we call the exchange. Okay, before you get something from someone, it's important to give them something. So they, they're walking up the driveway and you're in front of the house, you're not inside the house because if you're inside the house, um, they don't really need to give you that information because they've already got what they wanted, which is uh, permission to go past the front door. You need to be in front of the front door because they need to give you what you want so that they can get into the front door, okay? But the exchange, the exchange is, hi, Thanks for coming, I'm Michael and here's my details and the property details, here you are. And that's the brochure and your business card. I'll just jot down your details. Don't say grab or take, I think that's a little bit strong. I'll just jot down your details. And that's what we call the exchange. And you go, na your, your name was, and then you go and your phone number is 04, and you lead into it. Okay, so that's step two, this is what we call the lead in. So zero four, and then they have to fill in that gap. Most people give you their phone number. Very rare do people, rarely do people uh, not give you the phone number because it's standard protocol. But and your home number, just in case, is a nine. So in Melbourne, it's nine. Most phone numbers start off with nine. So we lead in again, and that's what we call the lead in. So we've just done the exchange. We've just done the lead in. Now, this is the important part, the most important part. Thank you for coming today. Just before I let you in, we're conducting a bit of research to find out where our buyers are coming from. So, just we'd like to know how did you find out the, about the house for sale? Where did you first see it advertised? And then they answer, fantastic. And secondly, what suburb are you coming from? So the reason why you're getting that information is, um, is um, really the most important part is what suburb are you coming from because you want to know if they're in your core catchment. And if they're in your core catchment, uh, you want to give them extra, extra attention during the open for inspection uh, so you can give them an appraisal, lead up, create a relationship and get their house for sale as well. Now, so, uh, but the reason why you ask the first question first, um, the first question first, it, which is uh, how did you first find out about the house for sale? Because that triggers something in their brain going, okay, yeah, these are research questions. They're not asking me where I'm living or they're not asking me for my address. They're just asking me research questions. And you are asking research questions, and we track all of this information, you know, where buyers are coming from, where, how many internet hits, we track absolutely everything. So it's a two-pronged approach. One is to track information on how to get sales so that we uh, have more effective marketing campaigns for our vendors, and secondly, to find out prospective vendors. So just for market research, how did you first find out about the house for sale? Oh, and secondly, thanks for that. Secondly, and what suburb are you coming from? Beautiful, well, come inside. And if they're in your course suburb, that's where you get a little bit of extra information. So don't ask too much information. That's it, the three-step approach. Don't go, oh, okay, you look for an investment, an email address, are looking to buy first, sell first. No, 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 let them in because you'll see if you're talking too much to someone at the front of the house, they do that, can you let me in? You're trying to walk around you type of thing. It's really awkward. Just get the information that you need and then based on that information, you know how to pay attention to people. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, firstly, also, Keep in mind that you're doing the open for inspection for your vendor. Number one, number one, you're at the house, you're, you're representing the vendor, your job is to sell the house. But while you're there, you might as well um, kill two birds with one stone, so to speak, and get information from the buyers to see whether or not they're potential vendors. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Michael Choi. Take care.